Volcanic eruptions exhibit tremendous power. In 2010, over 100,000 flights were grounded. When the Icelandic volcano Eyjafjallajökull exploded, it shot ash 35,000 feet into the air. But sometimes molten rock simply flows out of the ground like a river. That's what happened in this eruption from Badabunga volcano four years later in Iceland. Not a single flight was cancelled. The Badabunga eruption may not have been as explosive, but it was actually ten times bigger than Eyjafjallajökull. It released the energy of a Hiroshima atomic bomb, not just once, but every two minutes, hour after hour, day after day, month after month, for half a year. At the University of Cambridge, we tracked the underground movement of the molten rock before it erupted, using the 30,000 tiny earthquakes that were produced as it forced its way through the Earth's crust. Students working out in Iceland found themselves in an exciting race using helicopters, snow scooters and four-wheel drives in one of the most rugged areas on Earth, trying to predict where an eruption might occur. The last few seismometers were deployed just hours before the molten rock erupted right in the midst of them, having travelled underground for 46 kilometres from the volcano. Then the race was on again to retrieve the closest seismometer and its valuable data minutes before it was buried by the advancing lava flow. In volcanic systems, molten rock frequently intrudes its way through the Earth's crust. It is difficult to predict when or where it will erupt at the surface and what the impact might be. Our work at the University of Cambridge, studying earthquakes in volcanic systems, helps in understanding the processes leading up to these dramatic events.